The plants are actually feeding off of just the fish waste. Once the system's balanced, it takes care of itself. You can take care of a goldfish, you can know exactly what we're doing back there. A lot of times if people want a garden, they grow in spite of the desert. We chose to grow with the desert instead. And that's it. That's how you transfer a plant in aquaponics. My family's never been closer. I wish I would have started this when I was a little kid. Think big, don't be intimidated. Think big and think outside of the box. The beauty to hydroponics is you can actually use the earth itself to help you grow your system. My name is Charles Collins and I'm a sustainable gardener. Now these are all raised from fry. This is about a 350 gallon tank. We have roughly 100 tilapia inside the tank. And right about now, I think it's time we feed them. We feed them once a day. They produce the pee, the poop. The water flows through the system and gravity brings it through this pipe here. It then comes out into this upper grow bed, which is about 12 inches deep. And we use three quarter inch scoria lava rock because that brings a really good substrates and a really good surface for the bacteria to grow. The nitrates and the nitrites in the um, fish poop get broken down by bacteria. The bacteria makes their little colonies within your substrate. The substrate then makes that food for the plants. The plants in return use their roots to clean out all of the hard and solid waste from the fish waste. It goes through your entire system and gets put right back into the fish tank fresh and clean. As the water makes its way through the first grow bed, it then comes out into the second grow bed. The plants are actually feeding off of just the fish waste. The nitrogen gets broken down, which is what the plants are actually eating. Once the system's balanced, it takes care of itself. Now you might be asking yourself, why fish? Fish are a sustainable form of protein. And in our case, we use tilapia because they're fast growing and they actually self-control their populations in a tank. So it's never too full, plus they are delicious if you grow them correctly. They've got a bad reputation and I really wanna to work towards helping clear that up because guys, it's something that we could all be doing at our homes. We don't wanna rely on the big markets and the big box stores and things of that nature. We wanna know where our food source is coming from. Grow, be a part of the desert, not in spite of it, all right? Granted, that's an ostentious pool back there. That's really, really big and it kind of goes against everything we're doing, but before we started gardening, we kind of lived in the desert, we wanted a pool. So um, although we have the pool, that's not even the focus point, the focal point of our property anymore. You all right, guys? Yeah? You okay? Hey, Kevin. Before you say, okay, how can you be best friends with a pig? Have you ever hung out with a pig? All right, now hang out with a pig and then come back to me. All right, we'll discuss it because pigs rock. If you're ever upset, look, trust me, you can be as mad as you want, but if you ever give a pig lettuce and listen to him chew, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> pig poop is a tremendous source of fertilizer. These guys provide poop for us. I get to hang out with chickens and pigs, dude. What's not cool about that? There you go. I just knew that they were the closest cousins to Tyrannosaurus rexes, so if I could have a little T-Rex walking around my yard, why not? It's awesome. Chickens are the gift that keeps on giving. On average, four to five eggs a day. They also provide us a rich source of nitrogen for the soil. These can be stored and refrigerated for up to a year without being treated. The chicken waste, we scoot that up, we um, put it into our composter for, um, for the own soil. I got a pig named Kevin and Kobe that live in a house with me. I watched Justice League with these guys. The Zack Snyder cut. It was awesome with my pigs. <laughs> now, first off, you'll notice that we have a greenhouse here. Why have a greenhouse? 